Following on from my previous video where I demonstrated how to import a few tables from one PDF file, I'm going to demo in this video how to dynamically import all tables or all pages from one PDF file. So in Excel Power Query, we create a new query. I'm going to use a recent source, so it's going to be the PDF file that I used for the previous video. So we select multiple items. So we can see here that in this particular PDF document, we have quite a lot of pages and quite a lot of tables that have been found within those pages. So if I scroll down to the bottom, we can see how many pages we have. We've got 181. And if we scroll up, we can see how many tables we've found, 156 tables. So all we want to do in the first part of this video is to dynamically import all of the tables, no matter how many tables there are. We want to uh, repeat this or reuse this Power Query for other PDFs in the future as well. So we select a few tables, doesn't have to be many. And then go OK. So we can see the four tables have been imported as four separate queries. So what we do, we can go to any one, but if we select the first one, and then the trick is to remove the last two steps. So we've got only the source remaining. So now we have a list of all the tables and pages in that PDF document. So what we're going to do is we're going to filter on the kind column just for tables. And then we're going to expand the data column and then we're going to load more and then we're going to go OK. And then we're going to remove name and kind columns. If we want, we can remove these three extraneous queries. We don't need them. We rename this query as all tables. And then we go close and load. And then we can see our query is loading. And it's loaded to a new table. And we can see that we have 817 rows. So if we want to repeat the exercise, but for all pages, the only difference is that we filter for pages rather than tables. And I've done this already. We can see here in Sheets Call All Pages. And if we recall, we had 185, I think, pages. Um, if we go down to 180 pages, to the bottom of this uh, return table, we can see we've got 181 pages, over 5,300 rows. And we've returned all of the data within that PDF into one table. If we have a look at the end code for the old tables query here, we can see the name of the PDF file and its location. We can also see the number of columns required for this specific PDF file. Now, if I made the PDF file name a dynamic parameter, 
This then would mean the query would be transforming a PDF with potentially a different number of required columns. To cope with that, I would need to make the parameters of the expand table column function dynamic. Or I could assume there's always a maximum number and set it at 100, say. Check out my business website too.